go any further? Can you believe what we heard last week from Mer Merrick Brave having to give up the title due to injury and retire? I, I'm i still in shock. 3XW Management has given us the gauntlet for the gold, and the winner will be crowned the new 3XW Heavyweight Champion. You know what? Just because Ajax Adams has bad will, maybe I'm going to throw my hat to that chance. Maybe. But this week on All Stars in the Midwest, we have, returning to 3X Wrestling, Women's Wrestling! Lady Luck versus Gigi! Who? I don't know. Who? I'm pretty sure it's Gigi. Gigi? What? She failed grade school alphabet? I don't know if that's her name. All I know is Lady Luck is going to live up to her name and pull another win out of her hat. She might get lucky. Well, I'll tell you the match I'm most looking forward to. Two out of three falls. Xander Killian, Kid, whatever his name is. Killian. Alex told you. Killian. Killian, right? Killian. Killian. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's taking on the fittest wrestler in the world, Mark Sterling, making his 3X wrestling return tonight. Yes. We're going to see if he has any ring rust left in the tank. He's the fittest wrestler in the world. Why would he have ring runs? He took time off. You really are a dumbass. Alex McCarthy and Ajax Adams back for some women's action at 3XW Downtown Destruction 8. Ajax Adams, will you get off your phone and stop trying to add the Snapchat queen Laney Luck on your phone on Snapchat and pay attention to this match. Who she wouldn't want to add Laney Luck on Snapchat? You can do it during intermission. You can do it after the show. But right now, we need to watch this women's action. We've got... I have a question for you. What? How did the referee Terry get assigned this match? I him qualified. I mean, I don't know. I assume that the Iowa State Athletic Commission gave him his referee's license and he was assigned this match. Let's talk about how Laney Luck has Gigi right where she wants her. Oh, look at this. Gigi is twisting that arm. Gigi did exactly what she needed to break that hole and take the advantage. Laney Luck uses the ropes to spin out of it. She's got the crowd behind her, certainly. Wait a minute, what is Gigi doing here? Gigi is six feet tall. She's got the size advantage. Referee, I think she also had a handful of hair, though. Look at her. She's proud of herself. Referee didn't see it. It didn't happen, Alex. Gigi is proud of herself doing whatever she has to do to get this victory against the more experienced Laney Luck. Big forearm from Laney Luck. Now, she, what is she thinking? Cartwheel. Oh, cartwheel back elbow. The crowd enjoyed that one. Snapmare from Laney Luck and Gigi is down. The, oh. Laney Luck's trying to get it put away, but Gigi has a lot more fight in her. Gigi, a graduate of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Drop kick from Laney Luck. That name right there says it all, Alex. Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. That's right. Even I know the toughest wrestlers come out of there, aside from myself, being trained by the 3X Wrestling Training Academy. What's Gigi thinking here? Oh, my goodness. Just dropped her head first on the mat. And, oh, look at this. How arrogant. It's going to take more than that to put Laney Luck away. Gigi using her size advantage. Irish whip sends Laney Luck off the ropes. Uh-oh, what could she be thinking here? Oh! What a sidewalk slam. But Laney Luck gets the kick out. Gigi needs to focus on putting Laney Luck away as opposed to arguing with the official. Gigi's doing everything she can in her debut here at 3X Wrestling to make a statement. Put all the other women in the women's division on notice. I think she's done that already. She had a chin lock. The crowd is behind Laney Luck. Proving Gigi's statement that nobody likes her wrong. She's getting thrown those elbows. She's going to get out of there. Oh, but Gigi stops her again. 
And the forearm shots. Now Lainey Luck kicking her off of her. You gotta get to that corner. She's gotta escape the monstrous Gigi. Oh, look at that forearm shot. Referee's trying to get him out of the corner. Irish, and she just, she's got to throw her to the other corner. She comes in with big clothesline in the corner. Oh, ref's got to, uh, she's choking her there in the corner. Referee's got a job to do here. Gigi took advantage of the four count. Gigi's taking the air out of Lainey Luck. You can't breathe, you can't win. That's absolutely true, but there are ways to do it without choking them in the corner. I, I don't I don't think Gigi's gonna get the submission here, but she's definitely gonna work on the legs of Lainey Luck. Luck gets out of it. But you saw what Gigi did there. She stepped over, so even when Lainey Luck rolled over to her stomach, had she not been in the ropes, Gigi would have still had control on the ankle, still been able to torque on it and make Lainey scream in pain and agony. You're right. It was a smart move by Gigi. She's clearly trained well, delivering that kick to the midsection. Gigi just looks angry. She wants Lainey Luck to stay down. She's getting frustrated. I can't. I, like frustration to you? I mean, it's, it's confidence, but I think I think she was hoping she'd have put Lainey Luck away by now. Exactly. Gigi has all the confidence in the world. At any point, oh. put Lainey Luck down for the three count. Lainey Luck manages to kick out again. She's telling her to stay down. She's got the hair again. Ref needs to watch that. Oh, face first into the mat.
watch your sports and shit. Speak from the cheap Alex McCarthy and Ajax Adams back for more 3XW action at Downtown Destruction 8 as we have a two out of three falls match between Mark Sterling and Xander Killen. Killen's got the hometown advantage here being from Des Moines, mm -hmm. Iowa. There will be a 30 second break. All right, we've just found out there'll be a 30 second break between each fall. Started with a handshake, that's impressive. Mark Sterling calls himself the king of CrossFit, and it's evident why he's got the wrist lock on Killen. Takes him up. Can't quite take him down. Killen reverses it. Sterling trying to power out here. You know, I happen to know that Xander Killen's no no stranger to a CrossFit gym, but you have to you bring up a good point that endurance and stamina really is key in a match like this. Sterling's got the headlock on Killen, reverses it. Oh. You also have to think that both of these men are going to be wanting quick falls. They're going to be wanting to score that fall quick, especially that first fall. Sterling slapping Killen on the back there. Insult to injury. Killen needs to get out of this wrist lock if he wants to get the advantage. Waist lock. Headlock. All right. We're just... A lot of chain wrestling here. Very impressive. Very, both, both of these men want to start things slow. Want to play it slow, which is the smart play to me. Killen taking him down. Wearing him down. Did you see what Sterling was doing just a minute ago by trying to stand up? Take away that power base that Xander Killian has when he's on top and leaning on Sterling like that. That's right. Oh, Killian right back with the headlock, though. Very smart strategy from Xander Killian. Sterling looks like he grabbed the tights there when he went for that pin. Sterling wraps the legs around the head of Killian. Killian manages power out of it, though. Head oh, 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 wow. It's clearly a battle of power, a battle of stamina, a battle of endurance. Both of these men want to get the victory. Bragging rights. Oh, Killen with the head scissors takedown. The other thing you have to think about is both of these men are in the gauntlet for the gold, Ajax Adams. So you want to preserve your energy for that as well. Sunset flip. Oh, not enough to get the first fall. With that gauntlet for the gold, I don't think he's Sterling having any issues with that stamina. I don't think he can go for days with the way he's conditioned. That very well may be true. Right now he's going to the floor and he's grabbing a water bottle. He's sitting in the front row. Is he going to drink somebody's water? Oh, he didn't even waterfall it. He put his lips on it. That's disgusting. Killen wants him to get back in the ring, but he's got to conserve his energy. I can't, I can't fault his strategy. He's doing exactly what he should be doing, taking his time, controlling the pace of the match. That's how he's going to win this, not by wrestling at Xander Killian's speed, but at his mentality, his speed. 
Xander Killen, I mean, he's got to take advantage of this opportunity, though, because, you know, Mark Sterling's going to get a, going to take a breather. Killen gets a break to breathe, too. Both men get their oxygen back. Killens. Killens trying to get in the head of Mark Sterling, and so far it looks like it's working. They lock up. Killen with the headlock again. Does he, can't tell if he, from this vantage point if he has the fingers locked or not. That's key in a headlock. Sterling's trying to use his brute strength to pick him up. Wasn't enough, though. Now he's just trying to push him off. Oh, big strike to the kidney there. He lifts him up and drops him. Atomic drop on Killen. Goes off the ropes. Killen goes down. Sterling. Nice arm drag there from Killen. Oh, goes to foul. Oh, both men camp up. Look at the athleticism of both of these men. Prospect clearly showing why it is the way to go for working out. Mark Sterling preaches it by coming out and saying he's the biggest man in wrestling, and that showed it right there. As I said earlier, Xander Killen's no, no stranger to the CrossFit gym himself. Oh! Big slam from Sterling. Now he's going, what's he going for here? Looks like a sharpshooter. Killen is definitely in a lot of pain. We'll see if he gives up here. And Sterling's using, oh! Sterling used the ropes to get the first fall by submission. Mark Sterling. Sterling did exactly what he should do. Sat down and wrenched on Killen's back. We will start the 30-second break now. 30-second break being employed here. You know, huge advantage to Sterling getting the first fall by submission. Work in the back of Killen. Killen's clearly in pain. On the Pro Wrestling Iowa 3XW Downtown Destruction 8 preview show, Brady A. Desire predicted that Sterling would win in two straight falls. Be interesting to see if that prediction comes true. Killen says he's ready to go for the second fall. Sterling was checking for the time and then he just went for it. I'm not sure if the 30 seconds was up and now he's, what is this? There you go, the biggest wrestler in the world, showing it right there. That's just disrespectful to your opponent, insult to, inju in, uh, to injury. Killen desperately needs to get a big move here to get the advantage back in this match. Sterling with an uppercut in the corner. Another uppercut. Killing needs this crowd to get behind him here if he wants to have a chance. He needs to get this hometown crowd behind him. So he's choking him in the corner in the tree of woe position. And oh my goodness. You are count with him there. I, I am not going to count. Solid, perfect push ups by Mark Sterling. I'm not sure if those were quite textbook. He pulls Killen out of the corner. Elbow drop. Oh, no. I think it's a very distinct possibility that Sterling could win this match in two straight falls if that back injury is as serious as it looks. Killen is clearly in a lot of pain here. Referee's checking. Referee's going to see. Alex, you see how Sterling digs not only his arms and forearms into the side of Killian, but also digs his head into the back, just to knot up those lower back muscles even more. Referee's that, checking. That back spasm. And now, oh, now he bridges into a pin. Very smart wrestling from Sterling. Yeah, there's no argument that Sterling is using very smart strategy, very sound strategy as he works over Killian. It's just a matter of whether or not... Oh, and now he's got the crowd behind him. Xander Killen has the crowd behind him. And that's, I think that's what he needs to get the advantage. Throwing elbows now. Oh, a forearm to the back of Xander Killen. He's been working that back the entire time. Oh, Killen slides under. What's he thinking here? Roll up. Oh, wasn't enough to put the big man down. Oh. Look at that. 
that one shot to the back is all it takes to stop that momentum that Xander was building. Now he's choking him in the corner here. Ref doing a great job of getting right in there. A fair count. Killen needs that. What's he doing with his shoes? There's no timeouts in wrestling. That's for sure. But when you've done as much damage to Xander Killen as Mark Sterling has, you can take a timeout for yourself every now and then. Killen, uh, Killen, I mean, he's down, but he's not out. He keeps fighting. He is delivering strike after strike to Mark Sterling. He's proven that he still wants this thing. You're right. Xander is trying to get back to this match. Keyword trying. But as Brady A desires to go there, you yourself even said it on the Downtown Destruction 8 preview podcast. Mark Sterling is going to win this match in two straight falls. I said that Brady A desires said it. I never said that. You said he said that. And I yeah, no, okay, you're agreeing with Brady. I thought, but you're implying that I said it. If you were a smart man, Alex, you would say that as well. Oh, big in Zaguri from Xander Killen. I am smart, and I know that Xander Killen doesn't give up. So may Mark Sterling win? Maybe. But I don't think he's going to get it in two straight falls. It's going to take a lot more to put Xander down. Xander went for that snap bulldog, but Sterling threw him off. What's, he, what's Sterling thinking now? He picks Killen up again. Oh, brutal backdrop. You know, I would think if we were still at, at zero falls apiece, Killen would just stay down for a three at this point. The back has been worked on so much. He could really use that 30-second break right now, but he's got to think of something to get it for himself. Did you see how Xander barely got that shoulder up and Mark Sterling jumps right back to working on that lower back? Bear hug squeezing and grinding the wind right out of Xander, digging his forehead into the lower back, causing that back to knot up even more. That's right, he's taking all the oxygen out of him. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. That's simple mathematics. Killen's throwing the elbows. He's trying desperately. The crowd's behind him. He's trying desperately to get out of here. Oh, I think Sterling grabbed a handful of hair there before he hit it. Referee's got to watch that, especially in a situation where Killen can't reciprocate. Mark Sterling doesn't have any hair for him to pull. Referee getting right in there. Referee Brett Miller is doing everything by the book. He is a senior official here in 3X Wrestling now. The former senior official, Jeremy Skeletor Rob, retired. Killing through the elbow to the mouth of Sterling. Oh, the speed of Xander Killen. He's getting the second wind, which he desperately needs if he wants to win the second fall. Knee strikes in the corner. Killen has a burst of energy. Big forearm. He's going off the ropes. What's he thinking here? Oh, one-handed bulldog. He's, and the crowd is behind Killen. He's got them all. He's got to capitalize. Big kick to the midsection. What could he be thinking here? Oh, swinging neck breaker. Killen's going for the pin. Oh, but it wasn't enough to put the big man down. Killen finally found that second win that he desperately needed. But that back injury came back to haunt him. You see how slow he was in crawling to that cover. Got one leg hooked, and that was all he could get. I mean, that's right. I mean, Sterling's certainly done a lot of damage to Killen. But Killen's not going to give up. Goes for the cross body, but he's caught by the king of CrossFit. What is he thinking here? Oh, takes him up into the fireman's carry position. But Killen catches the ropes. Oh, big kick to the big man. Killen's got to follow up here. Oh, a stunner of sorts. And Sterling goes to the floor. Uh-oh, what, what could Killen be thinking here? I don't like where this is going. Xander, don't do it. Dive! Where'd they go? They're out of our vantage point. Are they fighting backstage here? Killen is... Killen's back out here. He's getting some much needed water. Yeah. Need water right there, huh? Wait a minute. Hey! Oh, come on. The se the referee has ruled that Mark Sterling has been disqualified. Therefore, the second fall goes to Xander Killing.
Wow. We will now have a 30 second break, and the next person to get a pinfall or submission will be the winner. What a cheap tactic by Mark Sterling. Cheap. That was not cheap. Xander came out and threw water right on face and head. Oh. Sterling. Sterling had to get his retribution. Had to get even. I'm sure that... Oh. That hurt. Double stomp from Sterling. Sterling wants to end this third fall now very quickly. He does not want to give Xander Killen the chance to get that testosterone flowing again, get that adrenaline flowing, and have another comeback. He can't afford to let Killen have another comeback. He's choking Killen on the ropes. Referee right in there. He's got to watch the referee's count, though. How embarrassing would it be for Mark Sterling if he both of the falls he lost were due to disqualification? Killing with the roll. Oh, I thought he was going for the roll. Oh, kick right to the chin. He got all of that. Oh, I thought I thought Killing had it there. I thought he had it, but Sterling got the kick out. I'll give you credit. That was close. But you watch, Sterling's going to come back and get this final fall. We will see. It remains to be seen. Killen's got the crowd behind him. You're dead! Uh-oh, what's he thinking? Oh, oh no. Whatever he was thinking, it didn't work. What? What? Oh my goodness. Look at the power of Mark Sterling. Mark Sterling. Crucifix pin. Oh, nope. Oh, he went for the kick again. Ducked the clothesline. What? Somebody needs to hit something here. Oh, and it's Mark Sterling. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it, Ajax Adams. I thought Mark Sterling had it. Great officiating here. Fair, nice, even count. Some of the crowd doesn't necessarily think so. The crowd is now behind Xander Killen, though, and Mark Sterling is in that reflective mode. He's thinking, what do I have to do to put this kid away? No, Sterling's thinking, how much more punishment can I inflict on this little insignificant dumbass? Insignificant dumbass? Are you kidding me? That's all the more Xander Killen. Is. Xander Killen is a graduate of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. He's a Des Moines native, and he is an incredible wrestler. Killen, Killian, it doesn't matter. After this match, nobody's going to remember his name. I could not disagree more. And I think, oh, what an uppercut. Killen with a comeback. Oh. Both of these guys giving it everything they have. Killens, what's he thinking here? There's so much more pride on the line in a two out of three fall match because anybody can be caught once, but it takes a great level of superiority to catch someone twice, and that's what has to happen in a two out of three falls match. And that's why this match was tailor made for Mark Sterling, the finished wrestler in the world. Possibly. Killing, killing being grabbed by the hair. Sterling grabbed him by the hair before he threw him back in. He doesn't want this last fall to end in DQ or count out. He wants to get that pin fall victory. He got the submission, now he wants the pin. He's got him up in the fireman's carry. Oh, and he just dropped him. Killing went straight down. And the faces on the crowd are telling his story. They think this could be it for Xander Killing, but they don't want to give up on him. What is, what is he doing now? the small of the back. That's right, but but Killen kicked out! Killen kicked out! The Stur referee's ejected on Killen. Make sure his eyes haven't glossed over after that series of moves right there. He kicked out. Sterling doesn't believe it. Killen needs to pull something out here. He needs to do something. Sterling is, Sterling is frustrated. He does not know what he has to do to put this kid away. Oh, went for nobody home, killing with the kick. Right in our timekeeper's area. Uh-oh. 
Thought he was going for a stun. Oh, big spear from Mark Sterling. This does not look good. Oh, I thought he had him there. I thought that was it. Beast to learn how to count. That was a slow count. That was a very consistent count from the official. He's been doing a great job this entire match. That spear from Mark Sterling has put away countless opponents. But it didn't. There's no reason why Xander should have been able to kick out of that. But he did. Slow count. Oh, come on. You're being unfair, Ajax Adams. I think Xander Killen has a lot of heart and a lot of ability, and I think it's about time that you give him some credit. Sterling doesn't know what he has to do to put this kid away. He's grabbing him by the hair. We already saw how cheating worked out for him. What's he thinking here? Killing gets out of it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Killing or Sterling powers out of it now. Oh, big drop kick from Killing. All right. Killen's calling for something here. That snap bulldog that he calls his finisher. But now he's got to follow up. He's got to put the big man away. He's got to hook that leg. He's pulling him over. for one, two. Oh! It's going to take a lot more than anything that Xander Killen has in his offense to put Mark Sterling away. Uh, I think really the only setback was that the injured back made it a little bit harder to follow through after he hit his finisher. He's t the ref's saying it's only two. Killen needs to think of something to do next. Killen spends more time arguing with the referee. Are you he's kidding me? His opponent like he should. Taking his eyes off the ball. Killen. Killen wants to get that follow up. He hit the big move and now he needs to follow up big. Oh, big knee from Mark Sterling. And now, what is he thinking here? Oh, just guts him on that top rope. Okay, you know, win, lose, or draw. Killing has shown a lot of potential tonight. He's shown a lot of heart. And I think even if Mark Sterling gets the victory here, this has been a breakout performance for Xander Killen. Oh, what? The king of CrossFit. It's great condition. Wait, oh! Oh no! What is that goofy referee doing getting in the way of the action? He got pulled into the way pulled. by Mark Shelley. Yes, pulled. He did not do anything like that. Are you, you know, when you, when this comes out on, on, on video, wait a minute. Sterling's looking for the weapon. What? This is unbelievable. Oh, this, this is what it takes to be Xander Killen. This is what it takes. But Killen, what? Oh, Killen's got the weapon now. Throws it to the floor. Whoa! Xander Killen will do whatever it takes to win. He's got a, a leg lock of some sorts on Mark Sterling. Wait! Oh! Sterling taps out! Sterling taps out! What did I tell you, Jeremy Robb? Lainey Lux, Victoria sent whatever her name is, packing back to wherever the hell she's from. The Black and Brave Academy. She's a graduate of the Black and Brave Academy. They let that graduate? That was very talented. She put up quite a fight against your Lainey Lux. But she's got a handful coming at the 12 year anniversary of 3X Wrestling. They are bringing in the trained by the WWE legend himself, handsome Harley Race, Lucy Mendez is facing Lane. First of all, it's King Harley Race, not handsome. Get it straight. He prefers handsome. And they're bringing Lucy. Oh, I can't wait. The beautiful and talented Lucy Mendez. Oh, she's going to claim her women's throne so here in 3X Wrestling. So you're throwing Laney out? Laney never mattered. It's always been about Lucy. We'll see. 
but I'll tell you what. Mark Sterling was robbed tonight. That Xander Kill K whatever his Killing. name is. Xander Killing. It doesn't matter what his name is anymore because he, he cheated to get that win over Mark Sterling. He won. He beat him two out of three falls. That ref was slow and you know it. That ref was not as slow as you. Don't make me get Mark Sterling out.